It's time to build the rail to Maroochydore, not block it. The 2032 Olympics are at risk of becoming Premier Palaszczuk's personal plaything rather than the games for all of Queensland after the eye-watering $1.7 billion blowout on the Gabba upgrade has put at risk true legacy infrastructure that will serve all communities on the Sunshine Coast, in SEQ and all parts of Queensland. The failure of this government to grasp the $1.6 billion that was available with the previous uh, state co uh, federal coalition government to match it and then get on with the business of building the rail is truly not just disappointing, it's a lost opportunity to build the infrastructure we need today and into the future. It's also a failure of the Premier's leadership when she's promised to be a Premier for all of Queensland, but apparently she's only a Premier for her mates. Premier Beattie promised to have rail to Maroochydore built by 2020, and then we saw Transport Minister Bailey, who has shunned the $1.6 billion by delay and distraction and any disruption he can come up with, with any excuse not to match it. Uh, last night he tabled a redacted copy of the North Coast Connect business case and claimed you cannot read a single figure. Well, perhaps the minister should ask his department for those figures, given that they were involved in that business case. And as the member for Kiwana outlined before, there's been a lot of business cases, there's been a lot of work, but what we're seeing now is a government desperate to spin their wheels and go nowhere on the infrastructure that's required for all of Queensland, for all communities, whether they vote for them or not, it's time that they were a government for all of Queensland. It's a disgrace that they have failed to step up and get this project happening. It desperately needs to happen. I want to also address uh, a, a serious issue around workforce uh, reports. The Palaszczuk Labor government has turned their back on transparency with revelations this week that they've deliberately withheld a critical report which we believe shows cuts to frontline police, teachers and nurses. A question on, on notice released uh, revealed that they've scrapped the release. A question on notice has revealed that they've scrapped the latest release of the Queensland Public Sector Workforce Profile Report. And I believe this is a deliberate move to keep Queenslanders in the dark, not to be open and transparent with Queenslanders. The throw out uh, Coldrake report about letting the sun shine in by changing the figures, uh, by hiding the figures and saying that they need to work on them more. We don't know when they're going to release the report. We don't know what format they're going to release it in, given that there has been an established format. There's a real risk that they're going to launder, launder the figures, wash the figures, hide the information, and Queenslanders deserve more.